I think we know that we're lying to ourselves, but it helps. The glue of society. I once read that without lies, society wouldn't function. Because uh, you need them, kind of, to, to stay civilized. My name is Alan Lucin Oyen, and I am the director of the play The Wild Duck, which we're staging now here at the Coronet in London. The Wild Duck is uh, perhaps Ibsen's most personal play, which is why I'm very attracted to it. Um, it's about human beings, about uh, the lies we tell ourselves to deal with everyday life. When we first meet the characters, uh, this is at the late 1800s. It's at a um, party for a long lost son that's returning. And he has invited his childhood friend to a dinner party. And he discovers something about the life of his childhood friend, um, who was the son of a business partner that's been thrown under the bus. And there's an illegitimate child. Um, there's all kinds of uh, truths that are being unearthed uh, at the beginning of the play, but not for the people involved. And uh, this character, Kregas Varolev, takes it upon himself to, to reveal the reality for his friend, and so that he can have a more truthful and authentic life which uh, and then it doesn't really pan out the way he thought it's very much a play about class and uh, uh, privilege and power lies love um, truthfulness and what it means to be true what you gain and what you lose um, by being honest with yourself and honest with other people or the people around you. We're living in a time where we nothing can be trusted, really. And there seems to be kind of a thirst for authenticity and being, being um, of reckoning with things and bringing things out in the open. At the same time, we're living in a moment in time which is... Uh, have never been that fictionalized. Uh, we, how we deal with our lives on, uh, on social media, for instance, how we kind of fictionalize and uh, present ourselves. That's, those are lives, life lies um, that we use. So this kind of a, we're living in kind of a paradoxical times. So I think the play kind of touches uh, at the heart of that. I'm excited to present the work in its original form or original language to the, the London audience. Um, it's always special to hear the lies spoken as the playwright wrote them. Uh, so we're trying to stay as sincere as possible to that. Um, I think it's very relatable, the story, because it's such a human story about uh, family. It's a family in dissolution and uh, something everybody can relate to. So even though the play was written in the late 1800s, um, it still rings true today. I feel like there are some sensitivities in the language, which is true of any language, uh, that's, that are lost when you translate it somehow. I'm very excited about the cast and, I mean, I'm, that's always when I see you an actor on stage, I look for sincerity. I'm always looking for something very human, people who are kind of unafraid of um, revealing themselves. I try to look for a minimalist approach where the, where you can, where the acting is what you're looking at and not the set. And uh, the beauty of theater is that you don't really need anything to tell a story. Uh, if you have great performers, you have uh, all what you need. I try to come in uh, with at least uh, as few opinions as possible um, so that I can uh, let the process with the actors inform the result so that everybody in the room can be equally participant and have a high degree of ownership um, 
to what they're doing on stage. I mean, not that I don't have opinion about the work, but I like to arrive at the ideas together with the people who have to execute them. I'm excited to be here, to work here. I love this house, I love this theater. Um, and I think we have a really great cast. But I mean, I work around the world a lot. Uh, so for me, I'm kind of used to different places and different people. But it's nice to, this time, to have something very close to home, Norwegian language and a Norwegian play that is very special to me. Um, and present that in an international context, that's special.